Hey piggy people, it's Skinny Pigs one here. So today I wanted to do some updates on Apple. I did have to take her to the vet the other day. So at the end of this I will share her vet bill to show you the breakdown of everything. I think it's really important to start sharing what the vet bills cost so people who are looking into getting guinea pigs can have a better idea of what they're getting into. So little Apple is over here. Hi piggy. Are you hiding? Hi, sweetheart. Do you say hello? So Apple, in case you guys don't know, back when I first got her, which is almost like three and a half years ago, she would get yeast infections. So that is a type of fungus, and it started out on her lady parts. And back the first time when she had it, I really wasn't quick on the uptake, and it actually spread to her face, her nose, and any dark wet areas so like armpits and stuff like that so here is an example this was the first time she had it which was absolutely disgusting but it got all over her face and her mouth so that's how gross a fungal infection can get and it was really scary because it started to get up around her nostrils it was quite the big mess so we had to use ketoconazole which is an oral antifungal to get rid of it so we did the have I don't know if it was like three or four in within like a year year and a half it was a lot so finally that's when I started doing little bum tidies for her which we have been doing for a long time now and the other week when velvet wasn't feeling right after her spay I'm just going to admit I was being a slacker I didn't tidy her bum every single night like I usually do and unfortunately the yeast infection has come back so I feel very guilty about that I was very distracted and I thought to myself oh maybe it doesn't matter if it's every single night that kind of thing well apparently it does so it's just the beginning stages so we have a handle on it so I did take her to the vet they did a culture so they took a swab of her lady part area and it showed that it did have fungus, like the yeast fungus, and that there was a bit of bacteria there. So she's going to be on the ketoconazole and on antibiotics to clear everything up. And I will make sure that I never skip tidying her bum again. So I want to say that um, when you're dealing with a yeast infection with a guinea pig, I don't know that this is very common because I never hear anybody else talk about it. But it's a lot different than dealing with ringworm. So ringworm is also a type of fungus, but you'll see a lot that people are able to take care of ringworm at home. They buy antifungal cream, um, antifungal shampoo, and take care of it that way. Often it's just like a spot treatment. There's one spot of ringworm. But when you're dealing with a yeast infection, that is up inside the vagina the entire area of the vagina and as I said many other places on the body places where you're not going to be able to put all these creams places where you're not going to be able to get the shampoo so you really do need to do an oral antifungal to get rid of it this was one of the biggest mistakes that I made when she had her first one I was spot treating with um, it was monostat so that's an antifungal cream I was just putting that on her lady parts and it just spread like so nasty so it's not something you can contain or control or get rid of with just spot treatments or baths like you could with ringworm so again though I don't think it's something very common you can leave a comment below if you've ever experienced a yeast infection with your guinea pig but the thing about yeast infections is once it happens it's not just going to go away so you do need to get it treated and some of the signs and symptoms that Apple shows when she has one, visually I can see crust on her vagina and it looks sore. Uh, she starts to be very messy with her pee because I think it's very uncomfortable. And she pulls at her back feet, like grabbing her back feet, um, kind of like biting, nibbling at them as if she's really itchy. So those are some of the signs that she shows me that she's not feeling the best. So luckily... The oral antifungal works like a dream. It kicks in very quickly, so I'm very excited to get her started on that. 
it is a special order med so my vet clinic has to order it from a pharmacy that takes care of that med and then it gets shipped to me so we were seen on a Wednesday and I should have it by Friday so just a couple days which is good the only thing that kind of sucks about the antifungal is I have to buy 30 mils that's the minimum they do when only when I'm only really going to need half of that and the part that sucks is you can't really keep it around because the expiry date is so quick so literally I don't know if it was like a month so that kind of sucks is it's a little bit of a waste it's too bad I couldn't get a lesser amount but anyway so let's get on to the breakdown of Apple's bill okay so first um, the examination is $98 cytology so that was the little test that they did to check for the fungus and the bacteria $44.65 uh, we actually had x-rays done because if you guys know Apple just finished not long ago having bladder stones and having one removed so this x-ray was classed as her recheck x-ray so it's not the full price of an x-ray it was $87.80 then the trimethoprim sulfa which is her antibiotic which is known as like TMS or Bactrim that's $40.75 Shipping fee from the other pharmacy for her medication is $20. So that's where we're getting the next one, the ketoconazole, is $55.44. So let's look at the prices here. So the grand total was $346.64, and then you got to add tax onto that. So there you have it, guys. That was how much our vet visit was. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!